The Calorama area of Northwest DC includes the residential neighborhoods of Calorama Triangle and Sheridan Calorama. The area sits between the DuPont Circle and Woodley Park Metro stations. Its borders are somewhat vague, but most would agree they are Connecticut and Florida Avenues on the east, Peace Street on the south, and Rock Creek Park on the west and north. In 1795, Gustavus Scott, a commissioner for the District of Columbia, purchased the property and built his home, naming it Bel Air. In 1807, Joel Barlow, a local poet, purchased the home and renamed it Calorama, Greek for fine view. Although the residence was destroyed in a fire during the Civil War, the name Calorama endured. In 1893, Congress ordered LaFont's design of Washington to extend beyond its original boundaries. This included the exclusive neighborhood, which was originally set just outside the city limits. For this reason, Calorama is one of the few areas of DC that does not comply with the city's grid system for streets. Today, Calorama is considered one of the stateliest addresses in all of DC. Its list of notable residents has included past presidents, senators, Supreme Court justices, and other dignitaries and businessmen. With home sale prices listed as some of the most expensive in DC, the draw for its residents is a mix of history, prestige, well-maintained homes with superior craftsmanship and design, and a heavy dose of neighborhood pride. The Calorama Citizens Association has taken an active role in historic preservation and zoning, community beautification, support for local schools, and business district revitalization. During summer and early fall, the neighborhood social scene revolves around Mitchell Park. Fun fall day attracts much of the neighborhood who feast on delicious outdoor food and fresh baked goods while listening to music and watching outdoor entertainment. Perhaps no other neighborhood is more opulent and accessible than Calorama. With Supreme Court justices and ex-presidents as your neighbors, a view of Rock Creek Park from your window, and a metro stop within walking distance, this little sliver of DC leaves you with little else to desire.